Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to wire up a generator changeover switch. The one that I'm going to demonstrate is the panel mount, looks quite similar to this, and I'm going to show you step by step and also explain a little bit about the operation of this changeover switch. The basics are as follows. The changeover switch is changing over from one source to, to another to feed your load. So either you're getting it from the utility, your power from the utility, or your emergency source, which could be a UPS or a generator. Okay, so the model I'm using is a Gabe or Garvey, or I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's a changeover switch. And here is the little pinouts diagram that comes with the changeover switch. So uh, this I will demonstrate in the video, but just so you know what I'm talking about, uh, slot uh, mains goes to pinout or slot 1 and 5, while the generator goes to the terminals uh, 3 and 7. And then you can see that uh, terminals 2 and 4 are internally shorted, and 6 and 8 are also internally shorted, and that reflects the load. So 2 and 4 are shorted, and 6 and 8 are shorted, so you could effectively use 2 and 6 or 4 and 8. Right, so a lot of people get confused with these changeover switches. Now what it does is as follows. As you can see, there's a, uh, a numerous spaces here where you can connect things. Now what happens is, in principle, this is what is, what is going on. This, in my setup, is my load. So this is the load, and are you going to be powering your load, let's call it a kettle, from your generator or from your mains. Now, the reason for the changeover switch is because the mains, the electricity, goes off. So this would be your mains, and that would be under normal circumstances. Can you see how they would be connected? The red and the red and the black and the black would be connected together. Now the electricity goes off. Maybe there was load shedding. Maybe there was a fault on one of the power lines. Right, boom. Now you change over to your generator. So that means you're disconnecting that and you are now connecting that live and this neutral together. That, that means that you are completely isolated from the uh, utility or your power company. And then when the electricity comes back on, you can change back over, which means that's going to be there and the neutral is going to be uh, don't worry about the earth, the neutral is going to be there. So that the, even if the generator is on, it will have nothing to do with your load anymore. So that is the principle of operation of a generator change over switch. Okay, so how do you wire this thing? Now, a lot of the time, these things come with very cryptic instructions. You might find that two of these contactors are actually shorted out. Look, let me show you. I'm measuring continuity, there we go, and as you can see, these are shorted out, look at that, those two pins are shorted out, and irrespective whether it's on generator or mains, it's still shorted out, and that's where people get confused. What you need to know is you see these little display lights, they are giving you a hint. This display light is telling me, okay, mains, you see it's on the main side. So this display light is telling me that my live and my neutral must be connected here. So they will share these two pins. Then on the generator side, my live and my neutral must be on this side, sharing these two pins. Then on this side here, what is happening is as it changes over the switch, this and that become uh, uh, contacted and that and that where is it and this one become contacted so what happens is it's actually allowing me to get my supply from these two contacts then when I change over to the other side generator it's a lot it's then going to get my supply from these two contacts so it's very important that you uh, wire this thing correctly so I will just uh, wire it now Right, so I'm just loosening these, of which I'm only going to use one side. So that's a spare. So you could use either that side or that side on this brand, which happens to be a Garvey or something like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to decide which is lives, uh, which is mains and which is generator. And I can see that the red one here is obviously the generator. So this side here are going to be shared. 
There we go. And there we go. So this is the generator side. So what you can do is you can put the earth away. We're going to connect all the earths together shortly. And if you need to, just extend that. Right, so you can see that I'm sharing this uh, point here with the little illumination connector. There we go. So there's neutral and the neutral of the illumination connector. And now I'm going to tighten that. And very tight. And that is why I'm using a like a posi driv screwdriver. That means it's almost got like, like a flat tip there. All right. So now I'm going to do the live and the the live of the generator and the live of the illumination for the generator light. Whoops. There. And again, don't be shy to tighten this. Very tight. So there we go. You see, that's the generator illumination. There we go. And that's kind of how I worked it out. Although I did check the instructions and this is correct. Right. Now we need to get to the uh, mains. So this is your mains. Now in my little circuit here, a little design, this is my mains. And I'm going to first do the neutral because it's there at the back. Okay, and I'm going to slot the neutral in there with that shared, yeah, there we go, with the shared component, uh, with the shared wire there, from the illumination neutral of the mains. Sorry. And now the live for the mains shared with the live for the illumination. Now, some of these changeover switches don't have illumination. So then you will have to just check the pinouts because you won't have the little trick of the, uh, uh, LED, the, the illumination to guide you. Okay, now we just do a last check. Right. You might be wondering why the uh, there are two open con uh, contacts here for the load. Well, maybe you've got a big load. So maybe some wires are going there, some wires are going there. But basically, these are the same. If you measure the continuity, continuity just means it's checking if there's a short. There we go. We hear the little siren there, the little buzzer. And as I showed you earlier, it doesn't matter which of these I use. It really doesn't matter. They are both contacted. So I can choose that side or that side. But what is important is whether you're setting live or neutral. Now, I can see that the live is on this row. You can see that. Now, if I look at the instructions, just to check, it says mains. There it says uh, five and one goes to to two or four and five goes to six or eight there we go one goes to two or four and there's four and five goes to six or eight can you see there's rows here so that's the neutral row and that's the live row so now that's what I'm trying to highlight here is don't just put these any old way else you'll get your polarities wrong so there we go. I'm going to stick them both in at the same time here. Uh, but in my side, I'm going to work on the those two. It's easier to screw them in. There we go. All right, so there is the changeover switch now wired up. And you might be wondering, what do you do with all these earths? And in most insulation, you want to keep the earths all together. So this is why I am now going to wrap these earths 
uh, intertwine them as you can see because there's one earth per installation there we go so those are all the earths tied together and you don't want the earths touching any of these conductors so it's up to you if you want to uh, tape them up uh, by no means a rule but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tape them up because when I close this, I don't want the earth touching any of these conductors. So I'm just going to put that like so and just tape these up quite nicely. I'm just going to tape it up to this one conductor, one wire here, just so that the earth is not floating around here. Um, I don't want it to inadvertently uh, find its way to the changeover terminals and uh, short anything out. So I'm just holding the earth down here just with some wire. You do not have to do this part of the installation. This is just by choice. Okay, so let's check. We've got the, um, this will be the generator. Let's check. Yes, it's going there. And that is the red side generator. Then we've got the mains. That's going that side. There's the mains light. And then there is the uh, load. And I will just demonstrate it for you one time. I'm going to use the meter again. Now, what I'm showing you here, this is the other side of the load cable. There you can see the load. Now, look. I'm going to first check whether the live and neutral are touching. They shouldn't be. That's correct. Now I'm holding my finger on the live and I want to see if it, if I connect it to the generator, whether the, um, the buzzer will go telling me that I'll be getting my supply from the generator side. So there's the generator and I'm going to put, there we go. Now I'm going to put it on the main side and see if I get a, a, a buzzer. I shouldn't. See, I'm not. Now I'm going to flick this over and now I should be getting a buzzer here on the main side. You're correct. But on the uh, generator side, I should get nothing. See, and there we go. Dead quiet. So that is telling me that it is now wired correctly. Yeah. Right, now this thing can now be closed. So what you're going to do is you just want to fold these wires nicely in there so that you can seat this on. Right, so that is the video on how you connect a changeover switch. You can see the wire on the right is going to the generator. The wire on the left bottom is going to the mains. And the one coming out the side by the blue light is actually for the load. I've just got the diagram just for your reference. And thanks for watching. Cheers.